Nashville. Time to get some coffee and figure out what we're gonna do. This obviously isn't an eye care rig. I promise you that. But this guy's getting him some uh, advertising revenue by throwing this uh, big ass uh, ad on the side of his van. It's pretty smart marketing. He's probably uh, some type of contractor or something like that. But making that uh, advertising revenue, it's pretty smart. It's here in Nashville, where uh, we rolled in the, at night, uh, well, in the evening, and uh, asked the security people at Walmart over there about parking, because uh, on the uh, app that I use, which is called All Stays, there was kind of a mixed bag on if you can park here and where to park, and it's kind of sketchy. So I guess they got some like transients and homeless people. It's kind of a ghetto area. We saw them way, way, way over there when we pulled in. But um, the lady's rather nice. She says, uh, follow me. And she takes me to this spot. And there was a couple of Lowe's trucks there. And she said, I, I should be good there unless her third shift officer. It's funny how the security people always try to sound like police. She said, but unless the third shift officer has a problem with it I, I should be okay to park there so all was well until this damn thing over here this security thing they got it talks and so like at night it's like you guys did a good job at work be safe blah 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 like as the people were, were getting out of work I guess you know this little camera surveillance thing right here. And then all through the night, the damn thing kept barking. It's like, you are in a restricted zone. Clear the area. Blah, blah, blah. You're being recorded. This little thing. It's like, man. I felt like I was in like a movie like Terminator 2050 or something. You know, hearing that kind of talking and stuff in the middle of the night. And it just kept doing it over and over and over. Kept waking me up, you know. It just wouldn't shut up, man. But anyway, uh, lesson learned, whatever. I probably should have went to Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel is pretty nice, but their lots are usually small, and you feel like you're, like, under a microscope, kind of, because it's so small. But um, part of the game, you know, Spike made it through, we're good. We're gonna go find some pallets and uh, figure all that out. Who's a good boy? Spike is a good boy. Yeah, y'all good boy. Spike is a good boy. Anyway, I'm about to join my coffee and uh, find some places that maybe have pallets. Let's do There's definitely uh, no shortage, <coughs> excuse me, of uh, pallet places in Nashville but you know everybody's jumping on that pallet thing right now so you get a lot of people that just want to sell their a lot of crap and they just call it you know pallets or whatever they get pallets and they cherry pick through the good stuff and then they sell the crap they don't want and they put a couple good things on top to trick you into thinking the whole pallet's good next thing you know you've got a bunch of crap and that's their business model. They don't really care if you come back or not because they're looking for the next person. You know, that's that's kind of how those work. But, um, yeah, I'm just on the uh, computer here looking around. And I'm going to try to maybe get, do some... Uh, I just want to find, like, one or two popular ones. I'm not trying to find a bunch of places to go to just to go to. I want to find places that are really along the lines of of what I'm looking for, which is just straight up returns. They haven't been cherry picked. They have decent prices. And maybe pick up like one pallet. Cause I honestly don't have a lot of space in here. Cause I don't have my trailer with me right now. I left it back at uh, straightway at, at our ministry. Cause it's just a little jaunt into town while I'm waiting to get some logistics together to uh, do some work there with my tractor. So I left my tractor in my trailer and uh, just being nosy, we're gonna see what we can find around here. Or I guess if I get a pallet, I can always come back through with my trailer. Anyway, let's see what we can figure out. Pardon the fan noise because 
he gets stuffy back here in my office. But I'm printing out some uh, labels here, about to ship out some stuff. It's Columbus Day, so the post offices are closed, but I'm just gonna drop it off and let them take it tomorrow. So I found a couple of places. One is called Give Me a Five, and they're kind of a, not really a pallet place, but just a place where you can maybe find little bargains and stuff. I haven't found any pallet places that I'm really impressed with yet. So, um, we're gonna go by there. I'll explain how that works later in the video, how Gimme Five, Gimme A5 works out here in Nashville. And then uh, there's another place kind of in the same shopping area, some another wholesale kind of a place. I'll ask around about pallet places, but it doesn't look like there's too many of the type of pallets I'm looking for out here in Nashville area. Um, maybe one or two in Tennessee that it might be the right kind of stuff, but not really the stuff I'm looking for. I see a lot of stuff like uh, home building products and stuff like that, like flooring and doors and windows and all that. I mean, it's not my thing right now. Not for resale anyway. So we're gonna go to Gimme 5, Gimme A5, and another place near Gimme A5. Let's see how that works out. Gimme 5, and there's another place called Dirt Cheap. Here we go. You ready, Yobo? Yes, sir. All right, let's go see what Gimme Five's all about. Just literally walked in, and I can already tell I like this place. They have like the most random crap. But for three bucks, today's three buck day. And like you said, it goes down. I don't know if I explained it or not, but each day it goes down. I think it goes down to a quarter for whatever's left on Friday. That's right before they restock with the new stuff. So they got like lights and just all kind of random stuff. I'll turn the camera around and show you guys, but everything is three bucks today. And uh, pretty sure you can make three bucks profit off of this. I mean, make profit in three bucks with a lot of this crap, but it's cool. So let's take a look. You gotta put a, a penny in them. <laughs> a penny? Or whatever. Heck no. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. pretty happy for a nickel, doesn't he? Alrighty. <laughs> a little crusty, a little rusty in there, but uh, you know, whatever. So we're going to go to this other place called the uh, what is it? Something. Bargains or something. Some place. This area is kind of sketchy, man. I think we're in the hood. Up to no good. So, Dirt Cheap. Yeah, that's the other place we're going to go. I'm going to check out Dirt Cheap. That place, like I said, I think it's worth going to. Uh, we'll probably try to catch it on a Friday. Uh, for a quarter, which you're going to get like cheaper in stuff. You might find some really good deals, if, especially if people don't know what something is. Or, um, of course, Saturday, they that's when they get everything, the fresh stuff in. And that's when they say it goes real crazy. So they said the crazy days are Friday and Saturday. So the end of the, the cycle and the beginning of the cycle are the crazy days. Uh, we don't work on Saturday, so we won't be here for that. But um, imagine you'd find like the nicer stuff on Saturdays and the cheaper stuff on Fridays and something in between on the in-between. And you can also just find stuff like this. What the hell is that? Anyway, we're gonna go check out the other place, Dirt Cheap. Let's Dirt go. Cheap. These blades are only 50 cents. Um, which is really you can find a blade you can use. That's like a ridiculous price for box blades. They're old, but so far so good in here in dirt cheap. It has like a lot of just, it feels like a dollar store the way. It's got a lot of cheaper stuff. It's just, you know, lower end stuff, but it's still fun to come look at it. So I recommend stopping by here if you're in the area. junkie but some 
time that makes for the most fun. I think that's real leather, but... Yeah, that's leather. It smells like plastic. Boo-Boo's is at the Rivergate Mall here in Nashville. I just dropped her off and now I'm going to go to a Walmart park, get out the scooters, do a little scooting around, go to the post office, drop off some junk to mail out and uh, hang out at Walmart tonight and go back to Straightway hopefully tomorrow. It's a nice BMW. So anyway, thanks for watching and We'll see you next time. Peace.